I just feel like I need to have a confession time with you. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for joining. So I've just driven to my uh, part-time teaching gig. This is the teaching gig where I use this uh, backpack because I have to walk a, a few blocks. I've arrived early, I've secured my parking spot and I thought I just might hop on here and give a little chit chat. This, this is the bag I use for this teaching gig because I have to bring a lot of uh, teaching materials with me. And this is a Avera Bradley backpack. And I've shown it before, but I thought I just might show it to you again. The reason I chose this bag, I mean, the outside's cute, I think, but it's because of this interior color. Like, look at that fuchsia pink color. Fuchsia Floyd is because I'm drawn to this color. I love it. It really makes me happy. So, yeah, so this is my, this is my bag of the day in terms of like, my teaching materials. My other bag of the day, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you here, but before before we get into it, like I just feel like I need to have a confession time with you. <laughs> I have a crush. I, I've definitely been I definitely have a crush, and um, it's come to light uh, lately. But but you probably already know it because I've been showing this J Mark shoulder bag frequently on my channel. I unboxed it during Vlogmas. The reason I got it is because it just kind of called out to me as like a little bit of that Chanel 19 vibe with that diamond quilting. Of course it's smaller and I was able to make the shoulder, the chain, I turned the chain into a, a top handle because I like that better anyway, but also that top handle kind of gives it a little bit of that vibe as well. So yeah, so I've been crushing on that 19. I like the casualness of it. I like that diamond quilting. I like that it has a back pocket, which that J Mark bag does not. In general, I like, like the style of it. I do not like that price tag though. No, 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 that's that's pretty far up there. But it doesn't mean I can't, I'm not still crushing on it. Like I'm still really drawn to it when I see it on others. And when I see it on the resale sites, I'm just like, 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 like. <laughs> so so that's what led to this this purchase is I saw this bag on the real reel and when I when I when it you know zoomed past my eyes I was like wait look at that look at the styling of that bag it looks so cute it looks so charming it looks like the 19. Yeah, so here it is in the description it said an Ugg bag and I was like oh an Ugg bag and you know giving a nod to another uh another design okay like let's try that out it was $75 so that was affordable and it's suede. I have some bags with suede on the side and I have another suede bag that I'll show in another video. But in general, I haven't used suede a lot. And so I was like, well, for $75, I can give suede a, tr a try, especially because I like this style of the bag. And as you can see here, it doesn't have the exact same, you know, like features. It's not, it's not a, like a fake of the 19 because it doesn't have like the CC here, but it does have the um, top handle and it has the uh, the chain strap. So it's definitely a nod to that style and it has the back pocket. It has that like casual, oh, it has feet too, by the way. It has that casual, squishy, you know, comfortable vibe. So I was definitely, you know, ready to give it a try. Some of my first impressions of this bag, I can tell that the metal on this handle is just lightweight. It's not as sturdy as the other top handle chains that I'm used to feeling. This feels much more sturdy, but I think that's because the suede leather is interwoven in it. So anyway, so there is a difference, you know, and I think in the quality of the hardware, but so far, like the quality of the suede feels really, really nice. Like inside the bag, in the inner construction of this bag, there's like a little piece of cardboard or something, I think to give this hardware some structure but you can feel it, like you can feel a little extra piece of cardboard in there. And I can't say that I really love feeling that when you when you put your hand in here, but I mean, for the price point, you know, I think that's the kinds of things that you're gonna get with this price, this kind of a price bag here. So those are some of the things I wanted to mention about the bag. And I wanted to mention that the real real was completely wrong in the branding of this. It's not an UGG bag. This is the brand or the bag, Viersa Bags. And I looked them up on the internet and from what I could see, they're a small company. They're based in Greece. That They make bags that definitely have inspiration by other uh, famous fashion houses. So I know, and so then I was like, well, hmm, 
I don't know. I was just, I just felt a little confused because, because I was definitely crushing on it. I was excited to get the bag and then a little confused about the bag, but I'm trying out the bag. So I thought I would show you how I've got it packed up. I do love this back pocket. Your phone will definitely fit in this back pocket. And here's how I've got the bag pocket packed up. There are two little slip pockets on the back wall. I've got a pack of Kleenex, a pack of gum. In the back compartment, I've got my mini pochette, my little pouch that I've been using lately. This is from Longchamp. I've got some, I've got some medication in here for migraines. I just need to keep that with me all the time. And in the front pouch, Today I've got some, some wet wipes with me and this uh, wristlet that I've been using as a wallet. In this interior zip pocket, I just keep my key fob in there so that it won't fly about. <laughs> I did spray this bag down with uh, like the Apple Guard, you know, because uh, I just had the idea that that would be a good idea to use on a suede bag. So I don't know, let's just see what happens here but I can I can just tell you that my first impressions are that I'm enjoying that it's so soft and smooshy I just enjoy the casualness of it and I enjoy having the top handle chain and I am enjoying looking at it and seeing diamond quilting <laughs> that's basically it so I think that I will um, after I finish this uh, teaching gig here I'm going to run to the grocery store and I'm also probably going to stop by Nordstrom Rack because they're sort of close together and go home and make a pot of chili because today is a game day and last year I didn't really pay attention so all of a sudden our team, the Bengals, where they were just set, like in the Super Bowl and I was like how did that happen? Like that never happens to our team or it's been a really long time. So this year I'm paying a little bit more attention but at the same time I'm like I just don't want to get too invested. I don't want to get my hopes up. I'm just tiptoeing uh, into the interest of um, of football here and mainly because my husband is so is so excited about it anyway that's the plan for the rest of my day i'll be taking this bag with me so thanks for watching thanks for liking and thank you for subscribing if you haven't had a chance to do that i would really appreciate that and i hope to see you next time you take care bye